we need to round the numbers below to the nearest hundred. First, we have 215. Now because we're rounding to the nearest hundred, the first thing we do is find our hundreds digit. So that's the first digit of a three digit number because we have ones, then tens, then hundreds. Then we underline the digit to the right. So we underline our tens digit because when we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it's the digit to the right, it's the tens digit that decides whether we're going to round up or down. Now if we have five or more, we round up, but if we have four or less, we round down. And because we have a one, we're rounding down. That means the digit that we've circled, so our hundreds digit, is going to stay the same. So we get 200, because digits to the right of what we've circled turn into zeros. So on a number line, 215 is between 200 and 300. If we were counting in hundreds, we would count 100, then 200, then 300. And 215 is between those multiples of 100. Now, notice when we're rounding to the nearest 100, we look at our tens digit. And each square on this number line is an increase of 10. So this here is 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, and so on. So 215 is between 210, which is here, and 220. But because it's closer to 200 than it is to 300, that's why we round down to the previous multiple of 100. So 215 rounds to 200. So now let's try 492. We're rounding to the nearest 100, so we circle our hundreds digit and underline the digit to the right. If we have five or more, we're rounding up and we have a nine. So when we round up, the digit that we've circled, the digit that we're rounding to increases by one, which means this four is going to become a five to give us 500. Because again, digits to the right of what we've circled turn into zeros. Now, if I were counting in hundreds, I would count 100, 200, 300, then 400, then 500. And 492 is between those multiples of 100. But because it's closer to 500, we round up. Remember, each of these squares is an increase of 10. So this line here is 490, so 492, just a bit more than that. But it's closer to 500 than to 400, so we're rounding up. And that's why, to decide whether we're rounding up or down, if it's to the nearest 100, we need to look at our tens digit. Now we have 333. We can circle our hundreds digit and look to the right. It's four or less, it's a three, so we're rounding down, which means the three in our hundreds stays the same, giving us 300. On a number line, 333 is closer to 300 than it is to 400, so that's why we round down. Now, 897. We look at our hundreds, then look to the right. It's five or more, so we're rounding up, which means we need to add one to the digit that we've circled. So this eight becomes a nine, giving us 900. On a number line, 897 is between 800 and 900, but it's much closer to 900. Remember, if we're counting in tens, we have 850 right in the middle, 860, 870, 880, 890, so 897 is closer to 900. And finally, we have 303. We find our hundreds and look to the right and we have a zero in our tens. If it's four or less, like it is here, we round down, 
which means the digit that we're rounding to stays the same. So we have 300. On a number line, we can see 303 is much closer to 300 than it is to 400 than it is to the next multiple of 100, so that's why we round down.